This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 28th of March. I'm James Spann, just like summertime every afternoon for the rest of this week. Highs well up in the 80s, but uh, changes maybe by the weekend. Uh, some uncertainty creeping into the forecast here, as you'll see. Let's check some of the sky cam shots early this morning at the ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. Uh, that's the uh, Birmingham Sky Cam looking north from the Daniel Building. The sky is clear. Temperatures are mostly in the upper 50s and low 60s. Here's a look at downtown Clanton and in Auburn in Lee County. Things are quiet. Got the ridge in place here. We do note that MCS on the Rio Grande. But other than that, things are quiet. The uh, main wave action stays way, way up north, and we're going to stay warm for the rest of this week. And look at that. This is late March. This is typically when the weather is wild. Well, not really. Uh, just no major issues around the nation. Freeze watch for parts of the Great Lakes and snow for the mountains of California. And really, that's about it. Convective outlook. Later today, some chance of uh, strong to severe storms north of here. Uh, around Wichita, Kansas. Also from near Nashville up almost to Washington, D.C. But don't expect anything like that down here. Tomorrow, standard slight risk over the middle of the nation. And on day three, which is Friday, a slight risk. Places like Louisville and Cincinnati. There's the rain for the next five days. This is valid through the weekend, through Sunday evening at 7 o'clock. And this is showing rain amounts of about one-half to three-quarters of an inch. And the idea has been that would be on Saturday. But uh, some of the latest guidance suggesting, hang on now, we need, might need to back off on that. So let's take a look. This is the OZGFS, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. Again, the primary uh, winds aloft are north of us. we got a flat ridge here, and that means a warm day today. Mostly sunny. Highs uh, low to mid-80s, much like yesterday. Tomorrow, a low level of moisture increases a tad. You might see a blip on radar somewhere. Most places stay dry. And the same thing, highs 81 to 86. And really no change on Friday. There's a little increase in moisture, so just maybe a little better chance of a shower or storm in spots, but uh, probably nothing widespread. Highs in the... Low 80s. All right, look at this Saturday. All of a sudden, the GFS basically has little energy, if any at all, coming at us, unlike previous runs that brought a decent shortwave in here and enhanced the chance of rain. And accordingly, there's just not much there. Will there be moisture? Yes. Could there be a shower? Yes. But if this is right, there would not be as much. But this is just one run. So, again, uh, you know, we're not going to change the forecast dramatically. We'll pick of the European, and it still looks wet. Uh, this is the OZ European, valid Saturday morning at uh, 7 o'clock, and it looks pretty wet. So, uh, And again, the European has had a pretty good track record this season, but wait a minute now. Look at the NAM. This is 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. It is bone dry. So it's kind of a bewildering mix of model output here. you got this one with not a drop of rain, the GFS showing scattered showers, and the European just looks wet. We're going to stay the course uh, whenever you see the you know model madness like this. You don't go in there and make wholesale weather changes. But uh, we'll mention a chance of showers and storms on Saturday. Just be aware there is some uncertainty now in how much rain falls. And then Sunday uh, still looks relatively dry. We've had that in the ongoing forecast for a while. Uh, very warm, if this is right. Thickness value support mid-80s, just like summertime on Sunday. And again, there might be a blip on radar, but no big deal. All right, more model madness. How about next week? You know, the GFS been showing this big trough carving out over the east and cold air coming down the pike. Well, guess what? Uh, it's losing that. This is the uh, look at 500 millibars for Monday, upper low way up north. And, yeah, there's some cold air, but it stays way up north. Uh, Tuesday, forget it. It's just not happening. There's no cold air there. There's a week from today. We're still warm. Uh, highs around 80 if this is right. We'll check the uh, European. This is uh, Tuesday of next week, and it's got lower thickness values in here. Uh, you can see the 540 line down to uh, almost uh, Evansville, Indiana. Uh, 556 line down to Birmingham. But certainly, while this will be cooler, there'd be no frost or freeze if this is right. We'll look at the end of next week. The European, uh, this is uh, Friday, April 6th, right before Easter weekend. Looks pretty warm. But, man, it's cold out there in the Rockies, so... But again, you know, climatology would, it, look, we almost always have a late season cold snap. Is it next week, the week before Easter, the week after Easter? I don't know, but I fully expect it. Here's the end of the forecast, April 12th. 
Uh, and this is not a cold look at all. Got a warm 582 ridge that looks kind of mild and showery. So uh, again, on this set of maps here, more uncertainty, more questions than answers. But that's the nature of the weather business. We'll check it again this afternoon. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.